Welcome to Dragon Ball Fighters Rank Matches episode 18. Uh, just gonna hop into some rank matches and hopefully get paired up pretty quick. Goku Black so much if it wasn't so much of the same all the time. It's all or nothing. Go! This is the end. 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 This is Take this! Your history! Don't 
That didn't look like it should have touched me. I was still kind of a ways away. This is stupid. What is the range on that attack? It, it's way further than it looks. the ability to swap characters so they can heal on the bench if it just completely gets overwritten by uh, your opponent being able to force your characters back out immediately, killing the blue bar. That's what I want to know. Like, why is that a feature in this game? Like, if... It kind of ruins the game a bit. I'm dead. I messed up my input. I wanted to do a level 3 counter and kill him. And I uh, messed up my input and just kind of punched. Looks like I won after all. I would have got him with that level 3 if I hadn't accidentally pressed incorrectly. I just have to let him kill Krillin. I'm not good enough for Krillin to actually do anything against him. Uh, 
and trying to swap characters is just gonna get my other characters hurt. Ah, uh, that's stupid. I hate down heavy in this game. It's too powerful. I'll be the one to kill you. Let's go. Here's a present for you. This is the end. Go. Just get away. You Like, it's not fun. Why do they even... Why play the game if all you're going to do is... that? Like, I understand that that gives you the greatest chance of winning. But, like... Why play a game that looks cool? Uh... It has awesome characters if you're never going to use the characters for anything other than their launcher attack and a single combo you do after it. It's so boring to play against those people. One, because I can't beat them. Because they never take any risks, so outside of me completely outperforming them, uh, I have to take all the risks in the fight, uh, which makes it a lot harder to win. Uh, and two, because like I just see them do the same thing over and over again. It's super lame. This guy's jumping over me constantly and it's making it really hard to defend against him. Excellent! Yeah. 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 
Alright, so we beat his first character at least. Fine. I'll just kill you all. Fight it out. I didn't feel that. Counter. Yeah. Oh. Yes, Oh man. Cheetah's very aggressive. Get out of here! Get 
So fast. I'll be the one to kill you. Fight! Get Get out of my sight! Get out of my sight! Such a chore. Yeah. Feel that? Out of my sight! Get out of here! What the hell was that? I'll destroy you. How about this? I didn't count Impossible! I, I'll just kill you all! Let's go! Yes, I'll give you a Can't you do any better? I will end you! Oh yeah! Go! Get out! Then how about this? <laughs> wow, he's just really good. Your hard work has paid dividends, hasn't it? Now, put that power to good use for me. Alright, so I think we're going to call that the end of this episode, because... So, I don't think I learned anything. <laughs> uh, my first match just told, well, just reconfirmed the fact that people who play this game ultra defensively and just are trying to connect with one attack and go into one combo on a hit confirm are boring to play with, especially when they beam spam and force swap your characters so you can't regen life. Uh, where they're basically constantly, they're constantly trying to chip away at your health. Uh, and if you ever make a mistake, they want to punish hard, uh, and they don't ever want to let you regenerate anything. Uh, you can't swap characters against them, because if you swap in, uh, you'll immediately get launched, and your launch will go into a combo that will lead back to you getting swapped back for the character that you just swapped away from. So they'll come back in with their, you know, hardly any HP, and then they'll get countered again as soon as they come in, and they'll just die. Uh, so if they had a combo that does 50% damage and you swap out, uh, then the character who comes in takes 50% damage and then gets swapped back, and the character that you were trying to heal comes back and just dies instantly. Uh, and that's no fun. Um, like, I don't know why people play like that. That's not a game at that point. That's just... I feel like they're trying to be the... They're probably trying to quickly make it to the top of the uh, ranked battles and get to a high rank. Uh, but like, if, if you're going to do it like that, I don't feel like it's uh, really worth doing at all, honestly. Like, that's lame. Uh, and, uh... As for the other guy, like... I just... I didn't have an answer. It, I tried defending, and his attacks were... constantly getting past my defense. Uh, his, he was jumping over me a lot, so that I had to keep changing which direction I was blocking. Uh, so I had to very, I had to constantly be keeping an eye on where he was and where I thought he was going to be. And part of the problem with that is I do not have a lot of experience fighting uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, uh, because 
uh, I didn't pre-order the game. So I didn't even have him until, like, not that long ago. Uh, I unlocked him recently. Uh, and I haven't played him, like, at all. I don't know what he does. Uh, so when an opponent is good at him, and I don't know what he can do, that's that's a bad a bad place to be. Uh, I, I really do need to probably practice a little with both of the, uh, the Super Saiyan Blue characters and uh, figure out what they do um, because like that that overhead Goku has like I, I never saw it coming even when I was like oh that's overhead I need to keep that in mind uh, I, I didn't recognize the move startup and it kept getting me every time uh, and I think that's uh, that's the main takeaway uh, his Frieza was just really good. I know what Frieza can do, but I just could not block that Frieza. Um, like I tried blocking and it would just break my guard anyway. He had a good mix-up of uh, overheads and low attacks that made it really hard to avoid getting swept into his combo. And then once you were in his combo, uh, his combo lasted freaking forever and ended in supers. Uh, and it ended in a super that would hold you in place for... Uh, if he wanted to follow up with like a level 3 super or anything, like he, he basically could at his discretion decide to just completely destroy you. Uh, it was a really sick combo. Um, it was kind of lame that he basically only used it, but like, it's hard to argue against the effectiveness of it. And I don't mind them having like, one or two combos that they use, if they, uh, aren't just hiding in the corner, being spammy, waiting for me to approach, and then using a down heavy. Like, compared to that, anything's preferable. So, like, I actually enjoyed the match where I got completely bodied by a Supreme Kai Raid player compared to the, uh, the first match where, uh, they would just spam beams, and worse yet, they had Goku Black to do their beam spamming, and Goku Black has that one, uh, basically a Kamehameha, where somebody comes up behind you and grabs you for it. Uh, like, that's really cheap to do in a beam spam scenario, because you can't block that one, you have to dodge it. Um, so basically, if you're using Goku Black for your beam spams, you're saying, okay, not only is it not okay to not be able to reach me through my beam spams, uh, but you also can't block my beam spams because I'll just keep hitting you anyway. Uh, which means, uh, the answer is to teleport behind them, but if you don't have any bars, you can't do that. So at the beginning of a match, it's very effective. Uh, and the only other solution is to try to jump over their beam spam and come down directly at them. But outside of, like, frame-perfect execution, they'll be done executing the Kamehameha by then, and they'll be able to down-heavy you. Uh, and when they down-heavy you, then they're going to have invulnerability frames for your jump-in attack, and they're just going to get a free punish combo for you trying to break out of their, uh, their uh, beam spamming, and that's really lame. I don't like it when people play like that. That's not fun. Uh, anyway, that's, that's my thought on those matches. And uh, I guess I'll see you all in the next video.